What up nerds, my name is Colin, Mr. Swirly Ice Keefe, and today I'm going to be showing you guys Autodesk Eagle. So first thing I'm going to say is that Eagle was first made by CADSoft, I think starting in 1988, came out about 30 years ago, and just in 2016, Autodesk purchased them or acquired them, and they've been doing tons of updates to really make Eagle competitive with some really popular electrical design software today. So some of those include Altium and KiCad. So Altium is the industry standard and I highly recommend you guys learn that if you plan on going to industry and learning how to design PCBs. But for hobbyists and makers, Eagle is perfect. KiCad is also great because it's open source and everything's free and there's a lot of community contribution. But I really believe that Eagle is the superior product for several reasons. One of them is that although KiCad is open source and free, Eagle is open source as well in terms of the maker community. So popular maker companies like SparkFun and Adafruit will provide schematic documents and the board layout for several of their breakout boards and projects and they will come in Eagle format. So the schematic and board. The other thing is there is uh, different levels of subscriptions or licenses for Eagle. So here they have the free version which anyone can use even starting today and it has up to two signals layers so the top of the board and the bottom of the board we'll go into more about the different layers in eagle and in pcb design soon you can have two sheets which we won't go into too much but it's just a way of organizing your work and you can have a board size that is 80 centimeters cube which is quite large they also have the standard version which you get more sheets more signals and more board area and then they have the premium version which again you get more sheets more signals and unlimited board area in this case the four signals two signals and 16 signals this is just different layers in which you can work in your PCB design and we'll go into more later but pretty much that's where the money is sometimes four layer designs are even desired by hobbyists but the great thing is the price is not so bad even for the standard it's $15 a month or you can do a deal where it's $15 a month or $100 a year if you're a student you get the premium version free for three years using your student email address so for you UCSD students you should have the entire Autodesk suite in fact not just Eagle Fusion Inventor as well as probably some more products that I'm not familiar with you get that for free and also the thing I want to mention um, with Eagle that's really cool is it actually works very well with Fusion 360 and I'll show you guys an example of that very soon. Before we swap out of this, if you do have the opportunity, pick up Altium. It is the industry standard and it has a lot more powerful and great tools. But what I want you guys to take away from this is the design practice and the ideas and philosophies that come with PCB design and we're going to be showing you that through Eagle. In addition, Eagle works across all the common operating systems, Windows, Mac as I'm showing you guys here, and Linux and several of its derivatives it makes it the ideal choice for students because I've noticed from teaching this for the last couple years that several people maybe 30 to 40 percent actually have Mac and maybe five percent or less have um, Ubuntu or some other derivative of Linux so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is Oshpark. So Oshpark is a PCB house or board house that is very popular, very easy to use, and that's pretty much why I'm going to show you guys it. It's relatively cheap for being a U.S. manufacturer. It's up in Oregon, up being because I'm in Southern California or San Diego. They also make purple PCBs that they're known for, producing perfect purple PCBs and promptly, and they are relatively quick. It's about a two-week, 12-day turnaround time and really high quality. There are other several board houses that may have just as good or better deals, especially once you go to China. The Chinese vendors have really, really good deals for high volume production, as well as more custom ability that you guys may be interested in exploring. But Oshpark is a great way to get started, and that's what we'll use. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the previews that Oshpark generates, and also just the capabilities of Eagle. So here you can see, this is what Oshpark will generate for you, which also makes it a great debugging tool, just to see what your design is supposed to look like before you print it. So here you can see, we have several components, and don't worry about it for now just hopefully it looks really cool that was the top of the board this is the bottom of the board you can even put your own custom silk screen so this is the project in a box brand um, this is my little mr. Shirley eyes logo here we have the remote for this project so before it was the vehicle for my Bluetooth RC car this is the remote top of the board and the bottom of the board again we have the logos here is a research project I'm working on it's called transmission of touch so hopefully this board they're not to scale with the rel relative with the other projects I've shown and the ones I'm about to show so this 
the sizing is varies between them, but hopefully it looks really complicated or has a lot more components. The ones before were still relatively dense and complicated looking, but this one is far more complicated. And this one is actually has four signals. So the other two you saw, I'll just go back to this. This is the bottom of the board. This is the top of the board and that's all I had. This one actually has two internal layers or it's a four layer PCB. Here's the bottom. Again, I have my little research group symbol, my little Mr. Shreddy symbol, and you know, some other stuff's gonna add revision number and whatnot. And this is to show, because everything I've showed you guys before is just square or rectangular, is that you can do some really fancy shapes. And even though this one's relatively simple shape, just being a heart, you can do some things that are really crazy and really cool. And I encourage you guys to go out and look for some really interesting boards or make one of your own. So this is the top of the board, this is the bottom of the board. We even have components on the bottom of this board. And I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in just a moment. So that was Osh Park. I'm gonna show you guys what that heart one looks like in Eagle. So this is the board. This is the schematic. Here you can see you can organize stuff into groups. So this is my AT1084, just a microcontroller. And here's my array of LEDs. Here you can see the port or the label. And these labels connect to the pins here on the microcontroller. This is an LED resistor it's connected to a ground node. So all of the grounds are connected here. This is the battery and this is a switch. And this block is the microcontroller itself. And it has some complicated text and we'll go over some of that. Not everything in complete detail but usually when you're designing your project you'll know exactly what you're doing and if you don't then you know you prototype it or learn along the way and we'll go over some of that design practice as well all right so back to the board we have our heart i want to do a couple commands don't worry about them this is what it looks like just with the signals here you can see the signals and then if i do rat's nest it'll show the ground planes i was talking about so this is the top and this is the bottom board with a ground plane or a power plane and then the top with its ground or power plane as well. We can flip the board over and if I tell it to show me the bottom stuff then you can see this is the bottom of the board. So hopefully it looks just like the purple image I showed you guys earlier. It's supposed to look exactly like it. And then one of the great things I was trying to mention about Eagle is it works in conjunction with another piece of Autodesk software and that is Fusion 360. So you can design your board in 2D as you can see here and export it to a 3D object if you have 3D components or parts. So what that looks like is this. So this first item I'm showing you guys is the Bluetooth RC car vehicle. So hopefully it looks like one of the images I showed you guys in the beginning. This is the top and this is the bottom. You can even color the PCBs to be purple to show you guys what it's gonna look like when Oshpark prints it, for example, or any other color. And I'll show you one that's green in a moment. We have the remote. So again, another purple guy with all the components hanging off of it and attached. And even in the 3D models, you do get the silk screen. This is the transmitter touch board. I don't know what happened on the rendering here. It turns out to be white on the top and you can actually see a little bit of purple underneath it. But the idea is hopefully it looks really cool to see your 3D model. It's actually very beneficial in your design too, because if you are designing your board and you see some of these are actually colliding with each other, then you know to space them out. However, I'll show you in some of the design and some of the libraries that I created that, you know, it helps them avoid that. But one of the benefits of the 3D models is to see that before you print it out and you can show your employer or you know your team that this is what the board will look like so you can make any adjustments that are easier to see in 3D than in 2D where you're limited by not seeing the extrusion. Here's the bottom, and this one actually turned out to be purple. You can see, um, maybe from the other ones, I have these other partition planes or so. These are those power planes, and again, looks really red. And then here's the heart, and this one is actually a green PCB. Um, when you print it at Oshpark, they'll always be purple, but other vendors, they'll be green, or you can even choose the color. So it looks really cool. Unfortunately, the LED pins stick out. I'm gonna have to clip those off later on, but hopefully it looks really red. This is the only one that I have parts on the bottom. All right, so hopefully this was really rad. We're actually gonna get started by installing Eagle in the next video, but this was just to hopefully motivate you guys to learn Eagle and PCB design. All right, catch you nerds later.